Hello everybody, welcome to a new vlog. So today is January 2nd. So that means this is our second daily weigh-in of the year. So let's get right into it. Hello, it's ready. All right, stepping on now. 517.8 pounds. 517.8. Okay, I am so dumb. Yesterday I thought I was 518 point something, but it looks like I gained weight, which I'm actually not surprised. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wow, so Amber Lynn coded, of course she's gonna gain weight at the beginning of the new year. And honestly, yeah, I'm gonna put a sad face because all day yesterday I did amazing. And I don't know what hit me at nighttime, but it wasn't cute. Um, I actually ended up ordering Jack in the Box. So I think what I'm going to do is every day when I write my weight down for you guys, I'm going to put a sad face on the day prior if I was not on track, but I'm going to put a heart if I was on track. So obviously my bad choices at night did disrupt my fluctuations or like the progress I could have made in just one day because it is possible to make progress in one day just like it's possible to not make progress, just like I did. So our current walking song, even though she can't hear it because I wear my AirPods, Lost in the Fire. The weekend has always truly done something for me. So poop buns don't exist here anymore unless you have a day like this where you're mopping your whole apartment because my hair is long as hell. So this is my hair for the day so it doesn't get in the way. So one chore that I really hate besides cleaning the toilet is mopping. I really don't know what it is, but I've always hated mopping, but I think I'm in love with it now because I love this little doodad. Like, isn't that so fun? I don't know. But yeah, everything smells like pine saw now, which is my favorite. Okay, so if you guys remember my vlog from yesterday, I decided I'm going to start this building block situation type deal it's astro boy which looks pretty freaking cool i'm not gonna lie i was gonna start it last night but i didn't so i'm gonna start it now i opened the first step which came with two bags and then this is just like to help if you put a piece in like the wrong spot or something but i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of a savage so i just use my teeth but all right i'm about to do the first step and i'll show you guys when it's done okay i did it you guys i will say Having nails while doing Lego is just really hard, especially when the pieces are so small. I know this isn't Lego, but might as well be. So these are all of the bags that I'm gonna have to do to complete it. Now, the second one has two bags. So that's gonna be what I do next, which I'm not doing right now. Okay, so the third one is gonna have three bags. And it's a lot of the red. Okay, okay. Hello, hello. Next day, January 3rd, weigh in. I feel a lot more confident with this one. So let's keep our fingers crossed. It's ready. Okay, stepping on. Oh, hi, you see my hair. <laughs> 516.4 pounds. 516.4. I knew. That confidence was for a reason. Hell yeah. Okay, so I was 516.4. And yesterday I was on track. See how I was off track, gained weight, on track, lost weight. That is literally my life. And the reason why it happens like that for me specifically is because of my lipedema. Um, when I'm off track, I retain tons of water. When I'm on track, my body wants to lose that water. I am currently making some chicken sausage and broccoli. Oh my God. This actually, this chicken sausage might be one of my favorites. Let me show you guys. Hi, Tweaks. The brand is Al Fresco. It's the sweet Italian style. I made two of them. One of them is only 110 calories. And while cooking, I have been snacking on radishes, which I'm obsessed. Hello, it's January 4th. I don't know how it's already the 4th, but it is. 
I just noticed that as the time goes on and I get older, the time goes quicker. Like when I was a kid, time would go by so slow. Now that I got some gray hairs and I'm 33, time is just flying by. All right, well, let's step on the scale. Hello, it's ready. Righty, I'm hopeful for this one. Keeping my fingers crossed. 514.6 pounds. Oh, yes, 514.6. All right, so 514.6, which is a definite loss from yesterday. And yesterday I was on track. I will talk a little bit more about like what I'm doing to lose weight. I just kind of want to do it first before I talk about it, if that makes sense. So people were contacting me saying like, are you going to be on TLC? Has TLC contacted you? And the answer is yes. TLC has contacted me more times than I can count. I have done quite a few interviews for different TV shows. Um, there's actually a popular TV show that literally is running that interviewed me last year. And I was fixing to get up and move just to be a part of the TV show. And I kind of want to like share a story time about that but that'll be in another video um what i actually want to talk about now is like tlc recently contacted me and i guess supposedly a producer that was contacting me also contacted a few like instagrams that like had my face on it i don't know the full story but that's like how everyone found out that tlc was talking to me because tlc ended up responding to one of the instagram messages saying yeah i'm you know actually talking to her blah 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 so yes, they contacted me saying that Dr. Now, Dr. Nazardian from um, 600 Pound Life is actually going to be like doing a new TV show and they wanted me to be a part of it. So I was supposed to set up a phone call with the lady who contacted me and stuff, but I actually got a message from her today saying like, we need the people who are going to be on the show to be 550 pounds or higher, like closer to like to the 600 mark. So I was like, Oh, well, that's not me. So obviously I had to tell her my real weight, which you guys saw today. I actually told her 516 because I hadn't even gotten out of bed when I replied to her message. I was just like, yeah, like 516, but the scale actually said 514 today. Two pounds ain't gonna make a difference. But anyways, I'm not heavy enough to be on this new show. And it just kind of got me thinking that like, how is 500 and 16 pounds, 514 pounds, how is that not heavy enough to be on one of these types of shows? I feel like I need help just as much as someone who's 550. Like thoroughly, if you're over 400 pounds in general, like it's time to like crack down. And it's like, for some reason, I have all the tools. I know all the tools. I have all the knowledge. I've done this millions of times before. Like I know how to lose weight, but for some reason, like I don't put those things into action. Like it is so hard. It's like literal torture. And I want to know more about that. And I think that's why like I'm very eager to get a therapist like soon. Okay, now I'm just completely rambling. I'm going off on like one topic to another. I came here to tell you that yes, TLC wanted me to be on a new show. They were going to like interview me, talk to me, whatever, but I'm not big enough for them. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I have been using Amazon for literally forever, years and years and years. And I had for the first time an option to get something overnighted. So I was like, okay, heck yeah, let me do that. So it was supposed to be delivered today. I check my little Amazon orders just to see the tracking. And it's like in big black letters, problem occurred. And I'm like, what? I don't know what type of problem happened, but I'm not able to track it. I'm not able to do anything. And this order was like $100. So I'm over here just like, what do I do? Like, what is the next step? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait, see if it's delivered tomorrow. If it's not, I guess then contact customer service. I don't know. Maybe I should just give it a couple days, but like, overnight is this like a new thing they're doing i don't know and a lot of people are like why are you wearing your jacket inside whenever you see me wearing this it's literally just because i just either came in from walking twinkie or i was outside doing something it is cold out there your girl does not leave the house without this jacket so usually that just means i just came back in and i didn't take my jacket off but i saw so many people ask that and i'm just like oh that's all but i'm actually trying to keep comments on on all my platforms that is tiktok and Instagram, speaking of TikTok, I have a TikTok going viral right now. It 
it is literally, I think, maybe like 2,000 away from reaching a million views. And you guys are so sweet in the comments. And it's just like, thank you. But I, I think what's helping that is like the fact that I kept the comments on. And that's just something I want to do in the new year. I've never had the comments off on my YouTube, maybe like a decade ago when I first started and I couldn't handle it. But I just haven't been reading the comments for months. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to respond to like the first couple of people who um, comment on my videos, like heart them or reply to them or whatever it may be, because I just want there to be more communication between me and y'all. So yeah, that's where I saw the jacket comment a lot in the comments. So just to clarify, that is the reason why. Because I also saw someone say, does she not have a heater? Yes, I have a central heat. And I will say my electricity bill in Oklahoma has been the cheapest it's ever been, literally ever. I don't know what's making it so low, but like I'm here for it. So I'm currently walking Twinkie and it's raining and super windy. That's fun. It literally does not rain in Oklahoma. Or it's just this time of year where it's like meh. But I will say it rains a lot less here than it did in the in the Kentucky. But I don't know. I'm kind of loving it because I'm a pluviophile as you guys know. The rain makes me happy. But right now it's dark and spooky and cold and windy and rainy. It's definitely cuddle weather but I ain't got no one to cuddle with besides my fur babies. I mean, I love that. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually just scrolling through TikTok and I love Drew Barrymore so much. I just don't even know what it is, but like I just saw like a clip from her talk show and it just made me kind of emotional actually. I don't know what it is, but I've been thinking so much of my ex lately and it just like reminded me of her and <sighs> I broke no contact by the way. Um yeah it happened so the last time i actually messaged her was november 1st and i told myself don't do it again but january 2nd after like a couple weeks of just like literally i can't stop thinking about her like i hope she's okay i ended up texting her and i still haven't gotten a response i don't think that i will and something about that like <laughs> it tears me to pieces because like i miss my best friend <laughs> And I miss the person that, like, I was gonna spend forever with. Like, I miss her so much. Like, all of the good times I miss so freaking much. And I don't know, like, it's just, like, I keep seeing, like, TikToks and, like, just things that remind me of her and make me think of her. And I'm just like, my goodness. I'm just gonna end this vlog. I'm gonna cut up with Rarity because she's being a sweetie, as you can see here. Hi, I love you so much. You're so sweet. She's just so sweet. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.